But we'll start with the story I predict will continue to dominate the headlines for the year ahead. War. As regular viewers of Uncensored will know, I spent the last few months of 2023 in Israel covering the conflict in Gaza. I saw firsthand the death and carnage unleashed by Hamas on October the 7th. I visited the tunnels they used to hide beneath the civilian population. And I experienced many times, including on this very show during a live broadcast, what it was like to be under enemy fire. And I, sorry, there's an incoming, uh, incoming. Get safe, Douglas. Come, come, come. And of course, I got to see the impact of Israel's massive response to those massacres. Hamas seized control of the Gaza in 2006 to 7, and they reduced it to a terror state that's now, in turn, being reduced to rubble, with the displacement of hundreds of thousands of people. Many Palestinian civilians, including children, are caught in the crossfire. But I've never wavered in my view that this war is not only just, but also necessary. Israel has the right and the need to defend itself, and Hamas need to be crushed for the sake of the region and the world. And that's why when it was reported this afternoon that Hamas deputy head Saleh al-Aruri has been killed in an explosion south of Beirut, I, for one, will shed no tears. Nobody could live beside a terror group like Hamas. We couldn't here in Britain, and I don't see why the Israelis should. And yes, I know that isn't a consensus view, there are lots of people who vehemently disagree with me. So I'm keen to explore not just what has happened, but what happens next.